Hello, my friends. I welcome you to another edition of a mentoring masterclass with Bola Adewara. Today, we want to look at uh, the mentoring experience between daughter and father. We want to look at 10 things the father should share with his uh, daughter. 10 things the father can share or should share with his daughters. You see, um, though girls can, rely, uh, can relate to their mothers and go to them for girls' issues, fathers are important to their daughters too. And uh, there is just some things about a father-daughter bond that is unique and, can, and uh, can't be broken easily. The first man in any girl's life usually is a father. And as such, the father sets the first standard for how she perceives men. Uh, the father, therefore, becomes the first male role model that not only guides her through important life challenges, but also gives a sense of safety and stability that leads her through most of her life. Therefore, a father must be careful because he is being watched left and right constantly by the children. And the children pick their the children pick their first lesson of life from him. Certain things are specifically binding on him to say. You know, uh, the father, certain things are specifically binding on him and to say and to do for his uh, daughter. There are inimitable lessons to diligently teach her so that she learns about her values and worth. Fathers have a lot of wisdom when it comes to how they view life differently from women. So daughters need, to, daughters need their fathers to teach them important lessons about life. Both parents contribute equally raising children. But these 20, or let me say 10 now, let's take 10. These 10 lessons are important ones that daddies should take time to teach their daughters. Fathers must ensure that daughters learn the details of life before starting their own lives. Father must ensure that they do not push unbaked daughters out into the marriage market. If many men complain about the deficiencies of their wives, the best way to leave the world a better place for fathers is to ensure that their daughters live well, that their daughters do not repeat the same kind of challenges their mothers uh, pose in their, in, their, in, their, in their own marriages. Fathers are so many, I mean, fathers, there are so many things you can teach your daughters. The evil you see in life, of friends, of men, the mistake you see in women and in mothers, teach your daughters about these things. Many fathers feel women are a different species. Tell your daughter why you think so. Many fathers see women as cheap and easily fooled. Tell your daughters why you think so. Still, many fathers see beautiful, hard-working women, and they admire them very greatly. Women who stand straight and tall wherever they are. Women of value. Show them to your daughters and guide them how to become one. Let the man who marries your daughter come to you someday and say, Daddy, I married a great lady from you. You have given me one of the best girls in the marriage market. Thank you so much for doing a great job on your daughter. A few, indeed, very few fathers get this kind of responses from men who marry their daughters. Now, what are the things your daughter can learn or should learn from you? Number one, depending on her age, tell her it is okay to say no to sex. If she's not married, tell your daughter it is okay to say no to premarital sex. When your daughters begin to develop you know, the poverty futures, 
Don't leave the sex education to her mother alone. In so many societies of the world, girls begin to get attracted and much assaulted in their teenage years. A period they don't even know what they are doing or the consequences of it. Don't leave this duty to your mother to her mother alone. Find time to remain alone with your daughter and tell her stories of what happened to teenage women in your time. Perhaps what you did to them also. When you were also a teenager, what you did to the teenage girls. Tell her the tricks men use, you know, the tricks men use to deceive women. The joy in remaining virgin till marriage. The spirituality of keeping the bed undefiled. The virtues of zipping up. This is not the time to summarize about um, unprotected sex. But it is important to, pro to, it is important to tell your daughter the realities of this issue. For now, it is a total no to sex until you get married. There is a limit to her friendship with the opposite sex because such relationship often leads to rape and sexual abuse. Number two, tell your daughter she has a confidant in you. Tell your daughter that she has a confidant in you, that you will always be there for her. Tell her that you are ready to be her gist partner and you will keep her secret. The bond between fathers and daughter is so often so strong because mothers tend to be oversensitive and protective of them for mother's personal reasons. The pains, you know, some women, because of the pains they went through in the hands of men, they don't want their daughters to go through such. They become very tough with their daughters. You know, tell your daughter that rather than seek confidence outside the homes, she has one in you. However, a wise father must know at what level the mother of the daughter should know the secret things going on in the life of the daughter. When you sense any kind of changes in your daughter, her body future, her moods, especially when she, she, you, you notice she's having a relationship, find time to sit her down and break into her heart in a friendly manner. Fathers, don't be too tough on your daughters. If your wife is also tough, let her find a friend in you. When you are not defeating, when you are not defeating the goal of your wife, let her know that her mother does not hate her, but is protective of her so she could have a great future. Number three, introduce your daughter to Christ. That is one of the most important things I find out. One of the best things a father can do to a daughter is to hand her over to Christ and encourage her to cherish the old rugged cross till the trophies are laid, she lays down. When a child knows Jesus, she behaves well. Tell her to invest so much in the Holy Spirit. Tell her that the Holy Spirit is always there, even beyond what you, the daddy, can do. And you can go ahead to ask for the Holy Spirit to, I mean, you can always tell your daughter to seek for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Satan does not understand tongues. Your daughter should be able to speak in tongues, to pray on her own. Don't mind them when they laugh at you when you are speaking in tongues. What they don't know, they mock. Number four, do not accept what you cannot accept. Father, tell your daughters, in all your relationship, if you notice a trait you cannot cope with in anybody, do not continue that relationship. Break off immediately. Do not think that you can change anybody. Only God can change people. In marriage, if you go ahead to marry a man with a trait you are born, hoping the man will change after you get married, you are deceiving yourself. You have fetched the rotting sticks 
Do not complain when the lizard comes a visiting. When you cannot accept it, what you cannot accept in marriage, don't come close to it in relationship. Don't be of an equal yoke. If a man does not go to church before he met you and he started going only to satisfy you and get married to you, he is very certain to go back to his vomit after marriage. Tell this truth to your daughter. When a man quits smoking because you told him you don't like it and not because he is convinced that smoking is bad, that man will go back to smoking after marriage. Don't marry anybody because his uncle or parents are rich. Define what you want in your husband and search for it. Number five thing every daddy should tell his daughter. Tell her what men want. Do you know the, the biggest thing every man wants? Respect. When your daughter gets to the university level, it is time to let her know that someday she will leave your house and start her own home with another man whose name is called husband. It's time to let her face the need for a closer relationship with men in areas of observing the man and knowing who he is and asking God for guidance. It's time to let her know that in marriage, the biggest expectation of every man is not food. It is not sex. It's time to let her know that the biblical teaching about the role of women in the house, her church, her community, her office, her children. Most women of this century know nothing about this. Most churches are teaching people wrongly. Teach your children properly so that they will not be victim of poor or wrong teaching of the world. The best or the most important thing every man needs in his wife, like I said earlier, is not the food, is not sex, it is respect. Let your daughter know this very early in life. Number six, tell your daughter, tell her to ask, I mean, ask your daughter where, tell your daughter to ask the man who is dating her, where are you taking me to? in life. It's time to tell your daughter how to respond to marriage proposals from men. When a man comes to ask her out, tell him to define relationship. Immediately, the relationship starts. If he is talking about marriage, ask him, where is he going in life? And where is he taking you to? Ask him to define his purpose. Where is he coming from? Where is he? And where is he going to? Tell your daughter to ask the suit of the guy proposing to him. Who are his mentors? Who are his pastors? And you like to meet them. What book has he read? What book is he reading? And what books will he recommend for you as a woman? Is he in Christ? Or is he walking towards him? How useful is he in the church? And what are the things he is looking for in a woman? Let your daughter know that she should not be cheap or common. She should value herself and place herself in the right location every time. Your location will determine who sees you. When you place value on yourself and people see you as one, it is difficult for any man or any man of any manner to see you. You could be exposed to choice men, men of standard, not fake men who have no direction in life. It is only the deep that calls to the deep. These are things you need to ask or tell your daughter. Number seven, tell your daughter to embrace her assertiveness. Fathers must tell their daughters that the present world has a very negative view of women. The world sees women as weak or weaker sex and weak in many things so, such that few are the women 
appointed to places of power or given managerial responsibilities. When women rise to the occasion, some women are threatened and they call them, they say, oh, she's too bossy. She's bossy. Fathers should educate their girls that bossy just means the woman knows what she wants and how to get it. Encourage your daughter to know something about everything and everything about something. Let your daughter have an opinion of her own. Make up her mind on issues and be assertive when she is very certain. Tell your daughter to know things so that people will not be pushing her left, right, and center. However, your daughter should learn how to submit to her husband even when she knows she is right. And if you must persist because you know the right thing, have a mature approach of dealing with your husband. Number eight, as a wife, be careful of your companions. Tell your daughter to be very careful of her companions. You know, uh, tell your daughter that the life of the African woman or wife is diametrically different from that of the American or the European woman. We all have our cultures, our ideas, our background, our temperament. Don't ever compare yourself with the person next door. Don't compare your husband with another man. Also, a married woman should not keep excessive friendship with singles or with divorcees. Now, listen to me. I am not saying there's anything wrong with the divorcee. I am not saying there's anything wrong with being single. You are not just in the same level of friendship with them any longer once you get married. A single woman is searching and still dating. You are not. A divorcee is out of marriage and perhaps available to other men. You are not. Show me your friends and I will tell you the type of person you are. Your society is now women in the fellowship in your church. Women in marriage with whom you can compare notes and, you know, compare notes about your husband and your children and how to build your family. Network with people of high net worth. Your net worth is your net worth. No husband will be comfortable with a wife who follows the single and divorcee all around. This is without condemning the single and the divorcees. Number nine, tell your daughter that life does not always go as planned, but we have a good, we have a God of second chance. Let your daughter know that truly, life does not often go the way we plan it, but we have a God who gives second chance. This has led some people to say that an opportunity once lost can never be regained. Is a lie. God can bring opportunities and opportunities, even better opportunities after you have missed the first one. Life will present several and better opportunities. You know, what if you know what you are doing. All you need is to be confident in yourself. Upgrade yourself always and stay in touch. Make sure your daughter knows the value and necessity of plan B, plan C, or even further down the alphabet. The only time there is no plan, the only time there is no plan B is when it comes to your faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Number 10, where I will stop. Let your daughter know that training is not punishment. Tell your daughter that when her mother puts her through some hard chores like cooking, washing plates, washing her clothes, and that of the family, waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning, she should not regard it as punishment. It is training. Let her know that many young homes have crumbled because the new wives does not know how to cook or take care of the home. The home is dirty. The food is insipid. She knows no variety of food to cook other than indomie and fried egg. The new wife is searching for house help to lay the bed for the husband, whereas the husband ending is not enough to take care of any house help. 
when this dissatisfaction is not properly managed, it becomes enlarged. The new husband could start insulting the wife and gradually problem starts in the marriage. Tell your daughter, training is not punishment. These are the 10 things I want to share with you today. I believe you have enjoyed me and please kindly share it with your friends. If you have any question, I'm ready to listen to it. You can send your question to me through my website, info at bolaadewara.com or bola at bolaadewara.com and I'll be able to respond to you. Till I come your way next week, may the Lord be with you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Love you. Bye.